Well, the busiest mailing day of the year is in the books, but the shopping never ends. And just as we see every year, some don't feel like paying. And new tonight, a look at shoplifters caught in the act. KTV News Watch Evans' Christina Engel joins us live with this new story. Christina? And Rob, tis the season for stealing, but some people just never learn, especially those targeting a store with cameras everywhere and its own security force. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Nebraska Furniture Mart with rows of stocking stuffers hung with care. Or if you're in the security office, you'll see holiday thieves stuffing their pockets. It's the holiday season, so on top of every other reason people have to steal throughout the year, we see a big increase with pressure for holiday gift giving. Corporate security manager Jim Cahill says they don't have elves on shelves, but they do have eyes in the sky. Hundreds of cameras catching crooks in the act. Obviously, anything concealable, but we've just had a rash over the last two or three months of cell phone cases. Even though a cell phone case usually runs you about 30 bucks, that doesn't stop this man from trying, though, hiding the phone case in his clothing. But security stops him and takes him away in cuffs. You would think they're cheap, but they're getting expensive. The more features, even on a cell phone case, are making them more desirable. So this man tries a different approach while shopping as a family. You see him here with a child in a stroller while he tries to put the new stolen cell phone case on his phone. Better yet, he goes through the checkout and pays for a flat screen TV. The average person would think you wouldn't bring your, your wife or your child in to be in on it. And um, yeah, we see multiple issues of family shoplifting. But Cahill says they've seen it all and know what to look for, both on the ground and from above. Now, Cahill also says they've seen an increase in online shopping with identity fraud. So, online or in store, he says they investigate all suspicious activity. And both of the men we showed you in that security video face charges for shoplifting. Back to you. Christina, thanks.